record this because I want to remember it. Gabby was scheduled for a podcast interview with Marcus Lemonis of The Prophet. <laughs> we, we, we were told by producers that you know, she'd be sharing a story. She had a pre screened interview. Um, so they, they love the story, like everybody loves the story. They love her personality, they love her resilience. So we were prepared for the interview. I actually prepared a day early. Got the calendar mixed up. She was in front of her computer yesterday. And it was today. <laughs> so excited to meet somebody we all admire. I was told by a producer there would be a surprise guest, but I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe it'd be another kid, Purdueer, or something like that. Get on the, she gets on the podcast, and of course, mom and dad are here, but they're not, we're not on camera. Um, just here for moral support. Slip notes if we need to, she forgets something. And um, her and Marcus are having a good time. He's really impressed with her, like everybody is. Everybody has been over the last almost seven years. <laughs> and then the call shifted from storytelling to some grilling about numbers um, that I wasn't really expecting. Um, you know, she, if she was on the show, we'd be prepared for that, but they said it would be more like stories and, you know, why she does what she does. She, she definitely had some numbers prepared, but a couple of numbers she did not have that he asked her about, like how much inventory we have. I know that, but she doesn't know that. So she started to fudge. And they had asked me and her dad to come on camera. Um, just to, for Marcus to say something really sweet and nice to us. So I could slip on the numbers or <laughs> put her on a piece of paper. Um, so finally she said, I don't know. And I know at that point she felt defeated. Like she's felt many times over the last seven years. But he gave her great pointers. And he asked, he brought on a, the special guest. And um, he said, you know, pause for a minute while we're talking about numbers. I'm about to bring on a special guest. And then he asked, you know, how much she thinks she would need to grow the business and we had not talked about that for this interview this podcast we honestly thought it was just going to be about sharing a story it would be awesome if an investment would be made but it's a podcast we're not on the show we're not thinking about him investing in the business so she threw out a number of course i would have thrown out a much bigger number <laughs> but she did it with the confidence she had um but a little rattle that she didn't know the inventory number. Um, and then he brings on the surprise guest, who is Gail King. So at this time, Mike, me, and Gabby are on the camera. So you see both, all of us are like, oh my God, Gail King is here. And uh, Gail King had been familiarized with, she had read up on Gabby's story and obviously had been listening in to some of the podcast so she knew a little bit more as well so marcus picks up back on grilling with the numbers and then you know he asked gabby the question again i don't know why he thought she would just know the number <laughs> all of a sudden and he made sure we didn't slip her any numbers and didn't tell her anything um so of course again she said she didn't know and then he asked her to do her elevator pitch she did a great job and then he said pitch me for an investment she's a little rattled again because we didn't prepare for a pitch for an investment <laughs> uh, so she went to her tried and true standard investment pitch and he said I don't want anything rehearsed 
So she's rattled again. And me and her dad are just sitting there helpless. Like, man, we can't even tell her what to do. Because they're like, don't say anything, mom and dad. So she gave up a, a pitch. He gave her pointers. And told her to pitch again. <laughs> this girl's 14. I mean, like. I'm like, I can't I'm, I imagine going through this right now. Um, but she takes his pointers. She pitches again from her heart. And it does amazing. And then Marcus shares, you know, I love you. I believe in you. The fact that you, you know, had any type of traction and you're in Target means everything. And I want to help you grow. You know, I want to invest $150,000 in your business. And $50,000 increments. We'll see how things progress. He's going to make a call to Sally Beauty Supplies, CEO. He's going to go on the phone with Target. He's going to connect us to a company that he, um, a natural hair company out of North Carolina that he has invested in before. And connect them as mentors. So he's sharing all of this. And we're in shock. I mean, I'm literally numb. I don't know what to say. Gabby immediately is overcome with emotion. She can't talk. She's crying so hard. And um, Gail interjects and says, Are you, you know, Marcus, are you really going to invest in her? Like, is this real? Like, is this real? And he was like, yeah, I, I believe in her. And he said, well, she's, I want to, I'm going to put $50,000 in too. And then by that time, Gabrielle's just, she can't speak. She's so overwhelmed with emotion. And they don't know whether she's sad or they don't know what's going on. She's just crying. And she said, um, You know, there are nice people in the world, but it's different when they really, they really do want to help you and dreams really do come true. And uh, I think for the first time I saw just how strong and resilient she's been for almost seven years. There have been so many people who said they would help, and they haven't. <laughs> so many almost. So many shows recorded that never aired. Prime time. She's coming second for over $80,000 worth of money. I mean... It's all been public in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> and she was seven or nine or ten. <laughs> and I just didn't, <sighs> I didn't realize <sighs> how much of that she had been carrying. <laughs> but I could see and feel The weight and relief just come off of her. As a parents, we've tried to shield her as much as we could on how hard it has been to help her with her dream financially. How we've sacrificed so much. I mean, she knows, but we don't tell her everything. But she still, she sensed it. And there was just this overwhelming release of emotions that I honestly didn't know was there. And now I'm processing it. And I, I just want to remember this so that's why I'm recording it. Ugh. Mike said something to me afterwards. He said, most people want this at the beginning of their business. When they don't get it, they quit. 
I've thought about quitting. I can't count how many times. At least twice a week. Because it's hard. It's been hard. If you're watching this, I don't even know who I'm going to share it with. Maybe just with myself. Please don't quit.